Reedy opening, Nimzo Larson variation, 2, G63.BB2BG74.G3005.BG2. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was a well fought middle game that Black got the better of. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nf6, which advances the knight into the center. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will attack the center from the long diagonal. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. It is best. Bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. It is excellent. It's alright. That's good. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is the last book move. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This squanders a chance to link rooks. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This threatens to fork pieces. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. It is a mistake. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This ignores a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. The pawn is now suitably protected. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. As a result, the opponent's pawn structure is weakened because they are forced to double their pawns. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. From a prior move, recaptures. 
it is ideal. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to defend against an assault on a helpless pawn. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. This permits the opponent to pin a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to pin a bishop. It is a mistake. This gives the adversary the chance to contest the opponent's rook for the open file. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Backs off. White is worse at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses a chance to make an attack on a pawn known. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a miss. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is best. This misses an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was a well fought middle game that black got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.